Coming up tomorrow on Sonoran Living Live, healthy gift baskets that you can customize for anyone, plus how to avoid or limit sugar during the holidays. And Chef Christopher is cooking a delicious dish for us. It's all tomorrow at 11, right after The View. This is right around the corner, so if you still have some things on your list, we're here to help. Well, actually, Susie Tim of Girl Meets Fork is here to help. She's going to showcase some local gourmet gifts. Some things, I have to tell you, Susie, I've never seen before, and I bet they haven't seen it before either. Well, I haven't seen a lot of this before either, but that's one of the reasons I wanted to showcase exactly. it. So. Let's start with this candle, because it's not your typical candle. No, well, this is the creation of uh, Chef Peyton Curry from Cafe Boa in Tempe, who is always full of great ideas, and he came up with the three little pigs. Okay. So for twenty dollars, you get bacon caramel, bacon candy, and a bacon candle. Bacon candle. Yes. So it smells like bacon. Not only does it smell like bacon, but when it's done burning and it's liquid, you can drizzle it straight on your food. So it's an edible candle. Wow. It's no. so it's a bacon fat candle. Pretty much bacon fat. Yes. Have you tried it? Um, no. But we could try it later if you'd like. Yeah, maybe towards the end when it melts down a little bit. Okay. We'll Very try a little good. bit. It does look tasty. <laughs> See, don't you love getting gifts that are so different? I do. It's a conversation piece for the rest of the evening. I would say yes. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right, what else do you have for us? Well, I also have a couple other stocking stuffer type items. Goody Two's Toffee in North Scottsdale. Good stuff. Beautiful products, lovely ladies, and they have a couple gift packs that you can purchase there up in North Scottsdale. Also, the most amazing whoopie pies I think I've seen in years. I, I said, what is it filled with? And you're like, a whole lot of goodness. Yes, Peppermint Delight. Um, that is Yum. from Cookies from Home, which is located in Tempe. Mm. And tell me how that frosting is. Good. Delightful, I'm sure. I really want to take a bite, but it is so huge. It's, it's going to be peppermint explosion exactly. if you do that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, um, so those are kind of smaller items you could wrap up and stick in a stocking or have out you know, during your holiday celebration. Um, I also put together some baskets of all local favorites. Um, Soretta's Candy Company out of Glendale was kind enough to put together this basket, which is, again, just overflowing with peppermint and nutty goodness. Um, and you can go to Soretta.com and see all the different prices, and they can customize anything. And, you know, if you're having a lot of family that are in from out of town, I think it's really neat to showcase Arizona and what too. we have. And Soretta's Candy, local, I mean, all of these things are local. Absolutely. That's what I love. They are all local. Of course, I am a big fan of Arizona wine, and mm -hmm. it gains in its popularity every year. Um, 2010. 10 was a great year for Arizona wines coming on the forefront of the scene. And so I'm featuring some Arizona Stronghold wine today. A lot of different, very great flavored table wine. Um, inexpensive. You can find that at Whole Foods or AJ's. Mm -hmm. So I like, I like that product a lot. Um, I also went to Sphinx Ranch, which is always famous for their dates and their date shakes. I'm secretly in love with their date shake. You're secretly in love with dates? It's not a secret anymore. Um, <laughs> it's out there. It's out there. So they can do also a custom basket of dates and there's some local honey, um, local salsa, and, and really just customize again with all local products. Yeah, I, that's the key. I know I'm just sort of beating it into the ground, but local, local, local. And I didn't even, I didn't know we had local coffee. We do. There are definitely some local purveyors of coffee, one of which is Air Park Coffee, mm -hmm. um, which is sold actually outside... Uh, inside of Postal Max on Frank Lloyd Wright and the 101. Because the guy owns the same He does. He owns, he owns Postal both. Max, but he also owns Air Park Coffee. His name is Michael Castillo, and he does coffee and tea, all different types of blends. I've been told that uh, this Jamaican Blue Mountain will wake you right up. Oh, definitely. So um, Now, I used to hang out in the Air Park quite a bit, a job that I had was there, and every morning you, you smell it. I mean, you can smell them making the coffee throughout oh, yes. the air park. It totally wakes the whole air park up. Indeed. All so. right, so do you think it, I can go ahead and sort of stick my finger in and this? Perhaps we should blow the flame out first. Perhaps. Okay. You're such a smart girl. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to such help. Such a smart girl. <laughs> okay. Okay. So does it smell baconrific? Oh, it totally does. Okay. Steph, you want to come here and try it? No, it looks like it would hurt because it's hot. And then this, Bring maybe. Your tongue. Okay, right, yeah. so I'm going to stick a little nut in the bacon fat. That's actually candied bacon in bacon fat. Okay. Mm. Is it changing your life one bite at a time? Oh my gosh, that is so good. What is this? Bacon Just candy. It. Candied bacon, shall I say. It's bacon with Yum. Cake. Well, remember I made you eat um, bacon ice cream Ooh, on the show before? Mm-hmm. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> I really I like tell, it. I can tell she loves it. <laughs> it's a salty You know, some people thing. don't try new things. Denise, you want to try it real quick? Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. She loves it. I love TV. pulling in our producer because she hates to be on television. She, she just loves it.